everyone, I am Dr. Laura Sinnott, audiologist and audio engineer with Tuned. A question that we get asked a lot is what are the best headphones for making video calls, Zoom and Google Meet, etc. Now there are hundreds, maybe thousands of headphones and earphones out there these days. So it can be really daunting to go through and figure out which ones are the best. But what we're going to look at today is specifically how good your voice will sound to the receiving end or the listener. I've actually seen some research that has been making some buzz and headlines on the internet that if you do use higher fidelity audio, people will perceive your talk to be better. They may even perceive you to be more intelligent. There were 99 participants and they did find that the quality did improve kind of all of the parameters and outcomes that they were measuring, but some of the outcomes were very small. So it's hard to just point blank say, yes, high fidelity audio will make you sound more intelligent, but it's something to just think about. We do know that higher quality audio will improve the clarity of your speech, which is nice for somebody on the other end to not have to put as much listening effort or struggle to hear you. We have some inexpensive suggestions for you to improve the audio quality of your voice. And that is what you're gonna to listen to in these next series of videos. I basically took some wireless headphones. I have the Biodynamic Avento and also the Audira first generation headphones. I made recordings in a loud cafe in New York City. I'm using Zoom. The Zoom noise reduction settings are set to auto which means Zoom algorithm, the Zoom algorithm is going to decide how to reduce the noise in the background. Um, the cafe setting, it's a public Wi-Fi connection. Strength of Wi-Fi can absolutely affect the sound quality. Um, so that's that. Then there's a setting in the park, so we're outside. And there I'm using the hotspot internet from my Pixel 5a. I'm on Google Fi. And then you'll see videos of me in this quiet office where the internet connection at is a strong one. We're gonna look at a pretty inexpensive cable that I got from Amazon. We're going to look at the v moda boom pro which i was very excited to try and before i did all of this testing i was expecting that this was going to sound the best because it describes the microphone as having professional audio quality it's geared toward gamers and the position where the mic sits is directly in front of your mouth which is pretty cool oh and then one more cable audira actually the headphones came with a cable with a microphone embedded in it so we'll also compare that cable all right enjoy all of the comparisons You're now listening to my voice being recorded by the internal microphone of my MacBook Air. I'm in a quiet apartment with a high-speed internet connection. As you can see, I've got my hot pink cable that costs $11 on Amazon. Again, I'm going to see if there's a big difference between holding it closer to my mouth and then just letting it lie naturally. And I'm going to take the cable out. Now you're listening to my voice being picked up through the microphone on the Audira headphones. Again, this is a wireless connection and typically wireless connections, uh, microphones using a wireless connection will not sound as good as a cable. Next, we're going to put in the, the Vita Vmoda Boom Pro. Just so you know, the first time I um, used these, I was hasty and didn't realize there is a mute switch on the side. So I thought they were broken. Anyway, just FYI, you can kind of clip this on your shirt if you want. Uh, I haven't felt the need to do that yet, but yeah, this is the Vmoda Boom Pro described as a pro as professional sound quality. And a lot of people use it for gaming, but there's no reason why you can't use this for video calls. And finally, the cable that the Audira headphones came with. Again, most Circle Moral or Super Oral headphones will not come with a cable like this. You get more high-end, more clarity with this microphone compared to the cheaper Amazon cable. As you can see, I've got my hot pink cable that costs $11 on Amazon. But again, it's a cable that comes with the headphones. And for the most part, microphones within the wired cables sound better. I'm sounding like a broken record now, but ultimately, the purpose of you listening to my voice right now is to just judge and compare the sound quality. So I could be saying anything. The Jabberwocky, I could start talking about that. 
I've got now the MacBook, uh, sorry, I've got now the AirPods Pro in. This is just so that you can compare what uh, all the other microphones and headphones sound like to the most ubiquitous, ubiquitous earphones that are out there right now, wireless earphones, which are the AirPods Pro. You're now listening to my voice being picked up through the Avento wireless headphones by Biodynamic. I'm not going to do this one with all the cables because really when you plug the cables in, they sound the same regardless of the headphone that you're using. But the wireless, the microphones in these headphones can sound different from each other. So we're just trying to see if the sound quality is any different when I'm using these pretty expensive headphones from Biodynamic versus the Audira headphones, which aren't actually that cheap either. So now you're listening to my voice being picked up through the microphone on the Audira headphones again. There is one more microphone I want to compare, and that is a truly external microphone. I happen to right now have the Yeti Blue connected. You can see it there. And in theory, that's really about the best way to go, especially because you don't have headphones on when you're having your meetings and they do tend to sound uh, the best. There are other microphones that can sound a little bit better or different. I do notice the Yetis, sometimes you get a little extra low end depending on the natural quality of your voice anyway, but they are, they are a perfectly fine USB mic to use. They're, they're plug and play, they're easy, and they're at a pretty decent price point. Hey there, you're going to be listening to a bunch of recordings made uh, by different microphones and headphones. Right now you're listening to my voice being picked up by the internal microphone of my MacBook Air. We're in a loud New York City cafe. The internet connection is public Wi-Fi, so it's probably not that great. You're listening now to a microphone from this cable I got on Amazon for $11. It's a Chinese company. I don't remember the name. And it's pink. My coffee just arrived. My cortado, I should say. Now you're listening to my voice being picked up by the microphone built into the headphones. These are the Audira headphones. And it is completely wireless. Again, you're being picked up by the headphones and it's utilizing Bluetooth. If you're listening to my voice being picked up by the microphone that's built into the Avento wireless headphone by Fire Dynamic. And I will say right now, it doesn't give you very much isolation. Now you're listening to my voice being picked up by this microphone here. It's uh, attached to a cable made by Vmoda. It's the Boom Pro. You'll see if I move the microphone. Be able to hear me that well, and when I position it right in front of my mouth, it picks up my voice. It should be picking up my voice pretty well. It does have noise reduction built into the cable. And now you're listening to my voice being picked up from, from a microphone in the cable that came with the Audira headphones. I'm holding the microphone literally an inch and a half away from my mouth right now. And when you're in a really crowded place, it's not a bad idea to do that. Now I'm going to let it lie naturally. Uh, let it lay naturally without touching it. Uh, We've got to compare this to the AirPods Pro because I mean, everybody has them. This is the sound of my voice being picked up by the microphone. Still seems to be AirPods Pro. I'm now using the internal microphone in my MacBook Air laptop to pick up my voice. So you can compare this to the microphones on the cable versus the mic in the actual headphones. This is a recording of my voice being picked up by the microphone in this external cable here. It is a generic cable I bought on Amazon for $11. Alrighty, and now my voice is being picked up through the microphone on the Audira uh, earphones. So I'm in wireless mode. And again, we're comparing the difference in audio quality between different microphones. I am in a park in New York City, and I'm on a hotspot uh, internet connection right now. This internet connection can make a difference as well. And now we are using the cable that came with the Audira headphones. So my voice is being picked up by the microphone here. So you can see when I let it go, it's now about four or five inches away from my mouth, and it makes a big difference if I am 
holding it right here. So again, if you're not in a quiet room, I highly recommend holding the mic close to your mouth so other people listening to you can hear you better. Your signal to noise ratio improves dramatically. We have one more cable to test. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Okay, now I don't actually know if this headset is working, so we will figure it out. If you've made it this far, the summary of all of that you listened to is that, which you probably could judge by your own ears, this $11 cable is pretty darn good. It doesn't, it's not as crystal clear as the Vmoda Boom Pro. It's also not as clear as the cable that came with the Audio headphones, but again, it's $11 and it comes in many different colors. That's kind of fun. You could use it as a backup or pop one in your purse and your backpack. Definitely worth it better, certainly better than using the built-in microphones on the wireless headphones. And I am very impressed with this. I paid $26 for it. You can, it retails, I think for 40 originally, but definitely search around the internet. You can probably find it a little cheaper than that. They also make the Boom Pro X that's designed for noisier rooms. And I think what happens is they have a more aggressive noise reduction built in. And as you could hear with your own ears, the AirPods Pro, they were not any better than the wireless settings on the Audira or the Aventhos. Sorry, Apple. Takeaway is both of those two cables are fantastic options. Do not use the microphones in the headphones whenever you can use your cables because it's going to dramatically improve the sound fidelity, the audio fidelity of your voice. Thank you for watching.